the 2013 Guam Koku Half Marathon and Ekinen Relay. It is certainly a mouthful, so gladly I am handing the reins over to Carl Pangolinian from the Guam Visitors Bureau to tell us all about that because basically, Carl, I'm out of breath right now. So what's going on <laughs> with the race? <laughs> and you will be if you're running the half marathon. I think uh, we'll, we'll expect to see your... Uh, your I can't even there. talk for 13 seconds without getting winded. You expect me to do a 5K? So well, I'm, tra I'm training. There you go. Uh, no, no, thanks for, thanks for having us. Yes, uh, the, the Koku Road Race, again, this is one of our signature events uh, at GVB. We're proud to announce that uh, this is going to be our eighth year in doing this. Um, you know, and it's just getting bigger and it's just getting better. Um, you know, we're, we've done a few changes along the way, actually some, some major changes for this year. Uh, but, you know, just to get some of the, uh, the, the basics out of the way, I mean, the, the race is scheduled for October 20th. Um, and, you know, one of the real reasons we want to get the word out there is uh, we're coming up on, uh, on one of the other cutoffs for entry. And so I think by this Friday, the 13th, um, the, the price goes up a little bit. Appropriately. Um, right. <laughs> nice day. <laughs> Friday the 13th. Uh, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's really not a lot of money. If, if you're going to be in the Ekaden Relay, that's, a, that, that's basically a 5K, and you get three other people uh, to join you. Um, you know, we, we've changed the course for this year for the Ekaden. It's going to be all in two months. So we, we start everything right at the GVB office there at Ipau Beach. Uh, for the Ekaden, you run over to the Sandcastle and come right back to, to Ipau. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, it, it's a quick, just a little over three miles or a 5K. Um, we, we wanted to stage everything there so that, you know, we'd have really a, a festive and competitive atmosphere for that handoff. And so, you know, you, you can cheer your team, uh, your teammates on, you can uh, egg on some of the other people that you're trying to race and, and you know, see if they can slow down a little bit. Uh, That's what I want to get into because, <laughs> you know, like uh, you and I are both fantasy football guys. And right. you're, you're, you're known, I mean, everybody knows you. You're the nicest guy in the world. You know, you're Mr. <laughs> Tourism on oh, Guam geez. and everything. But you are... I would say one of Guam's preeminent trash talkers when it comes to fantasy I'm, I'm football. I'm pretty competitive. I mean, not, not With just... With you and uh, your alumni. Right? <laughs> I think that's just the, the, the sports guy in me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so can you tell us who has registered, like right now, in terms of organizations and everything like that? So who can we maybe see, like some of the banks going head-to-head -head, or maybe some of the airlines, some of the car companies? Well, I mean, you and I would be interested. I mean, the FD Class of 92 has got a couple of teams, and we're already, you know, starting to talk trash uh, on, uh, you know, some of the, the, the Yahoo groups. But, uh, you know, <laughs> there, are, uh, there are a few industries that I think uh, that are putting in. I think most of the hotels have got, uh, have got uh, teams that, are, uh, um, that, that have submitted. Um, the interesting this year, and we're kind of putting a call out, is uh, for GovGuam agencies. We made a special rate for GovGuam agencies, and uh, I think to date we've got a few that have already signed up. And so, you know, it'd be nice to see some rivalry, uh, you know, between sister agencies, uh, you know, see who can come in uh, at a faster time. Uh, you know, additionally, we opened up the, um, uh, the, the, the local um, rate for our neighbors up north in Saipan. So, you know, we're hoping to see some uh, Saipan runners uh, as well. I wonder which GovGuam agencies there would be the most be the fastest. Yeah, you know, we'll have have the most trash talk going back. And forth. I'm thinking Revan Tax and DOA. That, yeah, it, the it, fiscal, would, it, would the the, it would be the battle for whose responsibility or the refund checks and everything. Yeah, like. I mean that, that that'll be an interesting race to watch. And then uh, you know, of course, the, uh, the you know our, our GPD versus GFD versus Customs versus you know yeah. all the the people with badges. I a little mean, bit of the, friendly animosity. Sure. There. Yeah, and you know I think they have it every year in, in another variation. But you know in, in this uh, you know in this format, uh, I, you know I think we got a, a pretty cool thing um, you know for for them to compete. Uh, pretty cool stage for them to compete on so we're how about the military about because i mean you know i remember you know you and i are the same age so when mm -hmm. we had the uh, carol kai bed race yeah, that way was huge. back that was huge. there would always be that one team from the seals who would like you know right. just dominate just blow everyone away yeah you know and, and we're, we're putting the call out you know not just our local government but but you know our, our military friends as well and you know we hope to see some uh, you know maybe within the same branch just divisions going at, uh, at each other mm -hmm. uh you know during the accident uh but you know more importantly jason you know what we want to do and, and we're we're marketing very aggressively in our overseas market um, I think last year we had uh, just under 800 runners um, from mostly from Japan, of course. But uh, you know, this year we're putting the call out to uh, to Korea, as you know, the Guam Marathon. The the, the top winners from both the male and female came from Korea. Sure. Um, so Japan, Korea, Taiwan, uh, China, Philippines. Uh, you know, we're reaching out to all of our markets, and we're hoping this year that we get uh, some Russian competitors. So that, that that should be interesting. Excellent. So we can have some like regional battles too. Right, and you know, I mean, Russians are, are world class athletes, just like you know all, all the other uh, of our source markets. And so you know, we we'd be very excited to have uh, you know some participants uh, coming from uh, from those markets. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so the 13th is uh, one, you said one of the deadlines, right? Yeah, I think What is the, the ultimate the, deadline? The, the, the ultimate deadline, I think uh, uh, it closes on October 16th is the closing deadline. So okay. uh, a few days before the race, which is again on, on October 20th. All right, everybody, but don't use tomorrow time. Register now, register early, and uh, start training and everything, because you will actually see Carl wearing shorts, I can guarantee you, um, <laughs> long athletic socks with the two stripes on the top. No, I'm just <laughs> I'll bust out the two. So we're trying to get Brett Butler, our, uh, our classmate, who's a former Olympian, to, 
to join the academy, but I think he's running the half marathon, so. Oh, nice, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, so I'll try and get my classmates from Sanchez, class of 92, and we'll yeah. go ahead to it with yeah. you guys. Let's, let's do it. You guys waxed us in volleyball, in basketball, in football. football. Yeah. Maybe we can, you know, 21 years later, we can get you guys back in like some Smoked sort of Smoked you in golf, game. too, so. Yeah. No. <laughs> we could go on and on about, I, I think we had you guys one year in uh, mock trial, but you know. Probably, yeah, debate. <laughs> debate. <laughs> All right, that was, always a pleasure. Okay, take care. All right, and stay tuned, because Colin and I are gonna talk some more trash, and we'll be right back after this. <laughs>